Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a variation of a biceps curl that is more uh, full body dynamic that actually intentionally uses momentum so that you are forced to use your entire body. Uh, so we're focusing on tensegrity. We're focusing on saying, hey, a bicep curl actually recruits your entire body. So why not go ahead and use that dynamic motion? I think that it mimics our gait cycle more. It mimics real life where we are dealing with complex forces from head to toe. Um, and it's just more fun, I think. So uh, full Disclosure, this is heavily inspired by the people over at Functional Patterns, so a shout out to them. Um, now let's get to it. So we will be using dumbbells for this exercise, but to start off, I want you to get used to the idea of your arms swinging. So normally, if we do a biceps curl, and I'm just grabbing whatever weight, you know, I, we're gonna try and lock everything down and don't move anything other than your elbow joint. But, uh, you know, that has its place, I do believe, but it's also, okay to use some momentum. It's okay to swing. But first we wanna get used to the idea of how to swing our arms. So pretty simple, let's just swing them. <laughs> it really is not that hard. Um, when it's just body weight, all I want you focusing on here is that as you swing your arms, there is a tendency for your weight to shift forward and back. Your shoulders and your hips will start to sway. So we're just trying to get used to minimizing that. So if you've ever done any kind of abdominal break, Racing, I would encourage you to go ahead and uh, breathe into your belly, lock it down. Just basically pretend like somebody's gonna slap you in the belly and that you're bracing your belly against that. So when you swing the arms forward, you're not swinging them into a position of hyperextension. And when you swing your arms back, you're not swinging yourself into a rounded spine. Not because those are bad, but because they're unhelpful for this exercise, okay? So as you load more weight, it's gonna be harder and harder to control those forces and I want you to have good control over any forces that you're ever trying to manage. Now eventually I really want you to start off with like almost no weight. If you're real strong and you do bicep curls and you curl lots of weight, I want you to just embarrass yourself a little bit here and grab really, 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 really light weights. Okay. So you're going to grab those light weights and we're just swinging, just swinging back and forth. Don't even bend the elbow. Now, eventually what you're going to do is you're going to, and just watch me, you're going to bend the elbows catch the weights right here up by your shoulders and then just press them back and come back. Okay. So you're swinging, you're swinging and I'll say catch. So here we go. Catch. And you just catch and then press and then you're back to swinging. So do a couple swings, catch and back, and then you can catch and back. And these are, this is the exercise. This is it right? It's just, well, as you load more weight, what's going to happen is you're going to catch and your shoulders are going to do funny things and your belly is going to do funny things. So I want you to watch that. So as you get used to swinging, um, you can start to load up some more weight and then eventually it gets a little harder. So I've just, um, you know, d uh, tripled the weight here and it's going to be different. I'm going to have to deal with some forces. I'm going to really have to get used to how my body wants to shift forward and back as the weight go forward and back. I don't wanna do this. I wanna keep my body kinda of locked, okay? So I really have to tighten up my belly like somebody's trying to slap me in the belly. And then you can catch and you're pressing, but it's all one activity. So it's not a catch and press. Although you might start that way. You might start with a catch. Okay, got my balance and press, okay, and then a catch, and you might just balance here for a second and press, okay? But eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, right, right? So it's like you're using, when you catch it, you're using sort of your glutes to push the, the weight away from you. So it's a full body activity and it's very dynamic, it's very springy, it's very elastic. So you're here and you catch, and you're around and catch here. And I don't want you doing this with insane amounts of weight, right? Eventually we can start to load this up into other activities. We can start to, um, you know, bend the weight or bend the knees and we can start to do this with uh, one leg forward and we can do it with a, you know, a step here. We can do across the body here. We can do multiple steps. We can do lots of things. It's a gateway to some really fun, in my opinion, training, but I want you to just get the idea of swinging 
first because most times when you go to a gym, this is the exact opposite. This would be considered, don't do this. Don't ever use momentum. Stop it. You're, you're flailing around. We're not flailing around. We are very controlled and very deliberate and very uh, intentional and braced as we're doing this activity. That's why we start with very lightweight. We start with no weight. We just swing, catch, swing, catch, okay? And then we add weight over time. And then eventually you can do some really fun stuff. You can even do these where you include a jump. So you jump into midair, catch, press, and land. And these are really just, I think they're fun activities. So um, start slow, don't force it, don't flail, be controlled. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope that sort of gets the, the cogs going in the head, right? Oh, the point here is we're using our full body. We're not just using a bicep curl. We're using our biceps, but we're using them as they connect to the entire body from head to toe. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want help with program design, I've got all these exercises that I'm publishing right here. And how do you put them together? Uh, which ones do you do first? How many sets? What weight? Well, I, uh, it's too much, right? I can help you. So if you want help designing a program at home so that you make improvement and achieve the specific goals that you're after, then contact me, go to my website and schedule an appointment. Okay. Peace.